Hey, how's it going guys? JC here. Today we have a match against Nautilus. OP.GG, runes and masteries will be on the screen right now. Uh, something to note is they have a Maokai support. I'm just wondering if that's actually really good because his, his plants actually become empowered in the bush. So let me know what you guys think of Maokai support. Also, the time that you're going to see this will be the 15th of May, which is my birthday. So we're going to be celebrating out with family, uh, dinner and all that. So all that good stuff. So we might not be able to make a video tomorrow. Just so that you guys know, just a little heads up. So this is going to be the first time I face Nautilus in patch 7.9. We're going to see how we go. He's actually trying to shove this in, so I'm going to counter shove. Because I want to look to fight him early. I'm just keeping the minions all at the same health level so I can get this early all in like this. You guys notice how I attack the minion that has higher health so that they all die at the same time when I spin through them. So hopefully we can do that again. Alright, nice. We got the auto. We're slowed, so we can't really fight any more than that. So this looks pretty good. And he started E, so he was planning to shove me out. That's very interesting. He didn't start the shield, which is what they would normally do. So the trick that I noticed is you can actually stand over here behind the minion. When it's about to die, you can spin onto them, so you get that extra distance if you need it. Oh, damn, I didn't get that. He kind of walked up randomly, so I wasn't ready for that. Okay, Jarvan, 3 minutes. We do have a ward, but we did place it a little too early, unfortunate for that. I'm really nervous because if I lose, I might get demoted. <laughs> so let's not lose, but I think I'm feeling, I'm pre feeling pretty alright with this one. I feel like... Whoa, okay, as I was saying that. He's gonna have to flash. Alright, that's fine. Oh, he can clean up. Clean up crew. Oh, I don't have my E. He's probably long gone. That's fine, we get to push this in. Oh, can we get him? You nice, got him. That? Man, we're such Maybe a god. Fuck yourself. Oh, I'm so glad we got that kill. Alright, very nice. Get to back off. Despite that gank, that was pretty iffy. But I think we played that quite well and survived it. Jarvan's down there. That Graves could actually destroy, but then... But then the Velkos will need to respawn. I'm not there, and I don't want to be there because I'll be so far behind if I stay. I'll literally just have a longsword for the longest time. He's going for a gank here? How's bot lane doing? Oh my god. I'm trying to get Graves' attention to bot side. If bot lane could get a lead early, that vein's gonna pop off. I really want the Graves to gank them, or gank bot lane, so that, you know, it'll be as smooth as possible. Oh, there we go, very nice. We avoided a lot of damage, and he wasted a bunch of mana by doing that. Oh, actually, it does matter, because he doesn't have Doran's, uh, Doran's ring, that's right, that's the name. Very good. Let's see. Uh, okay, unfortunate. Didn't get what we were hoping for. We're going to pick up all of this and potentially start chunk him afterwards. Or I could start chunk him once my E is up. So I could do an auto E, but actually it's too late for that now. If the wave didn't push in right away, trading auto E is pretty good with Nautilus because you're either wasting his mana or you're going to chunk his health. And he can he does really little damage to you given the you know the microsecond that he has. If he autos you, you're you're gonna get stunned, but you're gonna E away at the same time. So you'll be good to go. Okay. Oh, creep block. I hate creep block. Oh, what? That, that was not a caster minion. Dang it. <laughs> Alright, we can look to fight him. What the boost? Wait. Wait, is he dead? Or am I getting ganked? Very questionable. Oh. Okay, that's fine. That's really good. I have lane control, so I'm just gonna put that ward there for now. Nope, never mind. Oh wow, he's getting feisty. I'm level 6. Oh really? I'm gonna pop my potions. We can, we can do this. If he's there, that is. Oh no, he's not. Oh, there's the Jarvan. I see you. Does that mean the plant is up? I'm going to do the safe way check. Yeah, the plant's up. Okay, we'll just get rid of it. 
we don't need the Jarvan to have that plant. All right, and now we're going to mess up the Nautilus's day. Okay, yeah, make him miss that CS. All right, if this is slow pushing, he's gonna teleport. Might as well force the teleport by doing this. And we'll get to go back. Unless he teleports, then we'll just stay. Depends on what he does. Okay, that's fine by me. This is gonna slow push into us. He's gonna miss this whole wave. Hopefully I didn't leave too many minions up. And I'll be able to go and catch that. That wave is going to make it. And it's gonna freeze. I think, I think, I hope. I hope, please, please, please. Really close. Yeah, very nice. So this is actually the perfect situation right now. Very happy with that. Uh, Nautilus is missing. He did not teleport. So he could be saving it for bot lane. Very nice. We got a slain enemy. Okay, perfect. Now we just thin it out. And oh, Nautilus is there. Let's see if he roams. If he roams, we're going to shove it out. Oh, man. If they, if they don't die for this... Uh, okay, I have to shove it out. I feel like I feel like I need to make something happen. Oh wait, he's dead? Wait, if he's dead, I can just freeze this. I can freeze this. I think he still has teleport. So this is actually good to freeze. Uh, if I could drag, I want to stand here to drag the minions back. This is just like a little wave management trick. So this is going to put him so far behind. He's still level 6 and he comes to lane with nothing. But this is going to slow push now because... Our minions are going to reach the, the wave first, so in turn it will push because those minions went into the tower, which is really unfortunate. Like, two minions dying to the tower means that the freeze breaks, so uh, I wasn't able to I wasn't able to keep the freeze, which is... Uh, I'm kind of boosted for doing that. I think what I should have done is I should have let my minions die and then pull the minions back. Okay, I need to push and pull the minions back to the over here. Okay, so Nautilus teleported down there. I'm pretty sure he didn't walk down there because that would be a very weird pathing for him to do. So hopefully we can get this. I'm just hoping that the bot lane isn't too far behind. They died once. Okay, that's not too bad. And that Velkoz is going to not get the kill. Damn. Alright, so Ash is there. That Nautilus is still backing down there. So we have a lot of time and he's missing so much. We're really close to getting first blood tower. So we take these minions out so that our minions can help and take this tower. We get first blood tower, it's really nice. So I'm going to let as many minions die as possible because right now this tower is ours. It's just one auto away. So we might as well deny. There we go. We denied as much as possible and now we're going to back off. Two minions is not enough to freeze so it's going to push back to us. And this is the optimal situation right now. We're going to get our static as well. But we don't have enough for boots though, damn. I think we'll make do. We just, we are not going to extend any further than this line past this tower. Because we don't have boots, so without boots we can probably make it back to this tower with our spin and our flash. So anywhere past that, not really safe. Unless I do the little Jukarino over there. I mean, maybe. I'm gonna take these minions. It's just going to help with the CS and make me a lot stronger. I'm not in any rush to go to lane yet. And if we're, the Nautilus was to keep pushing, I'll get really strong because... Well, not really strong because he keeps pushing, but I'll be able to punish him for it. And hopefully after that, I can get Rift Herald. So once I push this out, the plan is to either kill the Nautilus or get Rift Herald. And then I can start helping the other lanes as well. So, oh no! Ah, so boosted. Okay, we, we need it. What the heck? How many people died there? Alright, we need to start helping the team very soon. Like, at least just contributing somewhat. Let's see, the next wave will come over here, which is still safe. I reckon still safe, because a bunch of people just died, so they're all in base. That's from my read, anyway. So, this is relatively safe to do. And then, we should be able to just get a Rift Herald right here. Oh, jeez. I'm going to try to make my way over there. In case of a cleanup opportunity. Okay, this is a cleanup opportunity right here. Ah, uh, never mind. That Nautilus is body blocking. That's fine. We should be able to get this one. Gather the pink ward just for the Rift Herald. 
it's going to be able to help us push the towers in. Or the mid towers, anyway. Yeah, we should be able to get this really fast. Depending on if Graves wants to let me have it, I'll just drop my regular ward down. Okay. I'll just drop it here so I get extra vision rather than just stacking it on top. Okay, now we do that. We're going to be able to push this in and potentially group with the team. Well, actually, I should buy. I should buy my item. I push this out, buy my item, and then start pushing a lane. I think I might go bot, actually. I think bot's actually a good idea. Because this Rift Herald's going to be really strong with bot lane. With the bot lane pressure. And this will force the Nautilus to stay here. So, right now, what do I want? I can get away with CDR boots, but I think I'm just going to go for regular boots right now. And just go for my second zeal item. No one's actually threatening on their team. Like, there's no heavy AD. And Ash is pretty alright, like, standard. Maybe I'll get it late game if she gets fed somehow. But otherwise, I'm going to roam. Got Rift for bot. Oh, shit. Oh, wow, there's a lot. Ah, oh, nice, we got one. Okay, this should be a free tower, so... No, oh, or not. Wow, I got knocked up by that. Yeah, maybe I should have manned up. I'm playing too safe. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, I think I should have manned up and just dove them and just tanked the tower for the graves. I think I could have got more kills there. Oh well. I'm going to use my Rift Herald for this second tower as well. Uh, hopefully the Velkos can stay so we can push one more. What? Oh no, he's leaving? What? Wait, that's not how I imagined it. No, not like this. Okay, I guess I'm by myself to defend this Rift Herald. Which means I'm gonna peace out the moment- Oh, someone comes. Wait, I just screwed up. So badly. Nope, nope, definitely not. Not today, Ash. Alright, so I'm just trying to get as much pressure as possible on the map. Hopefully we can get this one, and this will be huge in terms of helping us split push. I just don't want to be boosted anymore, I really want to win. And I'm just trying my best, but at the same time I want to commentate and make videos for you guys, so... You know, I'm putting my... I'm putting my solo queue on the line for you guys. Please appreciate. You guys probably don't care. Oh, it's just my solo queue ranked. It's just a smurf game. I know, I know. Oh, it's not a smurf game, not necessarily. It's still diamond. Uh, wait, do I get a red buff here? Okay, never mind. I'm gonna take these guys. Oh, I'm gonna take the Ash. Okay, never mind, I'm gonna take these guys. Okay, very nice. We actually get our PD right now, so we can actually be happy to back off and get our PD. There are two down there. Oh, please, Malkai, don't stop me from backing. Oh, thank god they removed the damage portion of that. So good. If that cat thing that he just threw on me did damage, it would have cancelled my back. And how low is that tower? Actually, it's pretty low. If that Ash keeps pushing, I'm going to get a free kill. So this is going to be really nice. Hopefully, it's going to be really nice. Alright, there we go. Let's go. Come on, Ash. Here? What? Oh, okay. I saw something. But it wasn't Ash. It's just the pink ward. Okay, we're doing quite well. Like, quite decently. So let's just keep up these efforts. Oh my god, just back. Abandon ship. Abandon ship. There's no point in dying for a tower that's one hit away. I can probably get bot tower. 
So just let my team know. I can get bot tower. Don't suicide. Oh, what the heck. Whoa, what? That did thunder. He proc Thunderlords from, from that? Jeez. Okay, that's really good. The Velkos is actually pushing as well. So I'm glad that I have teammates that actually know how to pressure. At the very least, if they have nothing else to do, they can at least pressure, which is really nice. That's something I was lacking in all my games previously. So this is looking good that my teammates actually exist this time. Oh, no, no, not like this. Oh. I'm not going in. Okay, there's a cat thing there. Cat thing person. Please don't fight. I don't expect him to hear me, but... Oh, man. I need to keep pushing. There's no way I'm going there. Oh, feels bad. Okay, there's a Nautilus. No. Oh. No, I don't know about this. I can't just tank the tower like that. I mean, the minion's probably there, but there's only one melee minion to tank for me. Okay. I don't want to fight or commit because I know there's someone nearby. I feel like there's someone nearby. Like, I'm really paranoid right now. Because everyone... Well, there's four people, one top, so that means there's potentially two here. To help the Nautilus, so... Maybe not. Okay, there's a Jarvan there. Not that he can do anything. Nautilus doesn't have too much armor, actually. So we did a good job shutting him down. What? What? What do you not? What do you mean? I didn't slow him? Dang it. Oh, unfortunate. Unlucky. I can't believe I didn't slow him at that moment, like when he was standing there. I was so sure I slowed him. What? Wait, he does so much damage. Okay, those cats actually hurt. A lot. Wait, I didn't need to ult, huh? Nah, I can't tank this any longer. I can E flash her in a bit, though. That, that was really sloppy. It's very sloppy by me. <laughs> Alright, nice. If I could please have this. Nice, very nice. And that's a freebie tower because it's so low. And good thing is the the vein is able to hold bot, so I can just keep getting towers. Or well, I, I technically didn't get it myself, but you know I'm just pressuring a lot. I'm going to pressure mid now, so that we have two lanes pressuring at the same time. Okay. Nice. That's what I want to see a crit. I also want to see a dead Syndra. I wonder if she can one-shot me, actually. Uh, she actually knows I'm here. Okay. Yeah, Graves can have it. Oh, wait. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm so greedy. Uh, wait. Oh, damn, she got the kill. Unlucky. The heck? What a fiesta. Man, maybe I should have just headed top right away. I would have been in time for the KS off of the Janna instead. I don't think I would have saved the vein if I went right away. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, oh, damn. I think that's an Infernal because we tunneled on the Syndra. Uh, whoops. That's, that's my fault. Oh my god, I just unintentionally made a bunch of mistakes. Okay. I mean, if they don't die, I could flank. Okay. Oh, this is such a bad target. Oh, yeah, see why at. I'm the party pooper. Sorry, I watch a lot of Night Blue as well. Because I'm trying to learn jungle, guys, okay? Forgive me. And I, I've been practicing some Elise and some Warwick. I actually do really well with Elise early game, and then late game I feel completely useless. 
But I always get fed on Elise for some reason. But then again, it is normal, so maybe it doesn't count, actually. Actually, it doesn't count at all. So, ignore what I just said. I was playing normals, and I... Actually, my normal games have, like, one dot, one diamond, and then maybe a gold, and then, I, like, a random silver, and then some plats. But mostly plats. So, my normal games is usually plat elo. But then again, it's normal again, so people don't try. I don't know, it's really hard to gauge, but I don't want to bring her into ranked. Like, not just, not yet anyway, I still need to practice, so I only play like 3 games with her. But I had like previous experience playing Elise, so... Uh, a little bit. I, I know her combos and her mechanics, but that's about it. So, maybe if you guys want to see Elise game, or Warwick, actually suggest a good jungler, because those are the two that, I, that come in mind. I think Sejuani is also very good, but I'm not sure. Wait, is anyone chasing? Oh my god. No! Stop Get out of here. Get out of my mid lane. Oh. Alright. Wait, I'll go get Syndra. I get Syndra. I have my ult, so Syndra should be dead. If she stays. Okay, Merc Treads, the slowy thing. Let's go. If she press R, I press R. Oh, unless she does that. Oh, I'll see why. Alright, uh, she didn't press R, so I don't press R. I really like how Syndra's ult is very slow. Like, each ball is just one at a time. So, there's actually no chance of me losing... I mean, missing ult unless I literally just space out or I'm lagging or something. Because you, you die pretty gradually. Like, span of three seconds. I'm so glad that we're going to win this. This is my first win in probably 20 games. I win in my normals, I win in my smurf games, but this is a ranked win, like... A ranked win. I think this is my birthday present from Riot, guys. Okay, so thank you so much for watching to the very end, I'm so happy. Thank you so much. If you're new to the channel, if you enjoy my content, please make sure to hit that subscribe button if you enjoy my content because... Well, the likes, the subscribes, and all of that does help my channel grow in terms of searchability. You know, YouTube will rank it higher, and then people will be able to search it. My channel grows, I'll be able to do what I love. You'll be able to enjoy my videos, and, you know, all that. Okay, well, anyways, thank you so much for watching to the very end, guys, and I'll see you all in the next video. Cheers.